Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to create that modular shelf, cabinet, commode or whatever you want to call it. Um, we have a modular uh, X size, we have a modular cabinet height, um, of course you can control the thickness of the boards, um, you can activate the drawers or deactivate them. Um, of course you can change the depth of our uh, cabinet. Um, the dividing board thickness um, and so on. Of course, uh, the number of dividing boards. Um, and of course, you can change the color. Um, we have some, we have a switch between the handles um, and some other cool things. So if you want to know how to create that, just watch that video. So as usual, we will start with our default cube as a geometry nodes container. So create a new geometry nodes setup and disconnect the input from the output. And first of all, we are going to create one of our wall shelves of our boards. Uh, and therefore we will need a cube. You can leave everything with the default settings, uh, connect them with the output that we can see something. And now we will need an instance on points node. Um, we have to connect the cube with our instance uh, channel, not with the point channel, because the cube will be uh, one of our instances. And as points um, node, we will take a mesh line, connect it with a points node. And as you can see, um, we have something like a wall uh, with bricks. Um, you can set here everything to zero, it doesn't count. Um, zero to uh, count to, to one. And um, now we have only one cube. And uh, with our start location of our mesh line, we will control the, uh, the X size of our um, cabinet commode later on. So set everything to zero now. And we will create a math node. So we will create a combine x, y, z node. And we will plug in uh, that into our start location. And now we plug in only the x channel into our group input. So, and we will name it uh, where it is. There it is. We will that rename uh, like I don't know cabinet x size. So that will now we have control of the x size. I will explain uh, in a few seconds uh, how how we are going to create uh, some two walls out of that. And um, now we are going to create the other side of our wall. And therefore we just copy these three, hit uh, Shift D to duplicate them. And now we will already need a join geometry node here. And the other one goes also in join geometry and in the output. And now we will need some math. And to explain what we will do now, um, we will create one wall on the one side. Uh, where is it? Um, start location here. Um, and we will uh, create another wall another board just on the opposite side um, and therefore we will use a multiply node and we will set that to minus one and we also connect it with the cabinet x size connect that with our x channel and again the combined xyz goes into our start location <coughs> For 
don't forget to set this to multiply. And now, um, hope you can see in which, di which direction it will go. We have we have some X size or uh, width control. Uh, it's a terrible word for a German guy with depth and height. Um, so now it's time to uh, make some scale on it so that we have control about the thickness of our boards. And therefore we will we will need uh, we will use the scale um, the scale channel of our instance two points and we will create another combine x y z node we can just copy that plug that into our scale and now we can see that our cube has disappeared that's because uh, everything is set to zero um, maybe I, we set it to one so that we can see what's going on and now um the x channel will be the control about the thickness of our boards the y channel will be the depth 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 <laughs> channel uh, of our boards and of course that will be the height of our boards so now connect everything with our input channel x goes into that and we will name it um, x size so that I don't have to say with <laughs> all the time x size and also the lower one goes into the x size and y goes into another channel it will be our cabinet death death also the other one and of course that channel goes into height also the other one um, let's see what we can do right now so if we control our height no there's something wrong uh, the height no we can delete that one sorry and the high channels to go into the same high channel as the other one now uh, we can control our boardness thickness board thickness uh, the depth of our cabinet and of course the height of our cabinet so um i think it's time to make some frames the lower one activate everything um, click Control J and we will name that uh, where it is cabinet cabinet board left and the other one Control J cabinet board right so now um, as we can see our board is exactly in the middle of all axes but of course we want our cabinets our cabinet um, standing on the x um, x axis so that we can position it uh, on the floor and to do that we will create a transform node like it right here you can duplicate the transform node because we will need uh, to transform both of our uh, boards and what we are going to do now is uh, we will take the half of our height and we will move our our whole um, composition um, with half the height um, to the zero level of our set axis to do that we will need some combine x y z node duplicate that too and we will need a vector mass node which we set to divide duplicate it and now we will plug the z 
value into the height control of our cabinet. That one too, to the height. And now we will set the Z channel divide by two, Z channel divide by two, the rest we can leave at zero. And plug that right into the translation. And as we can see, it's moving to the zero point of our Z axis. Now I just realized uh, that I have two times the X size here. Of course, one of the, one of them is wrong, uh, and that will be that one. The X size uh, we will have to rename it to um, board thickness. So yes, that's right. So now um, we can set some material for our board. Set material. So later on we control. We, we can control the uh, side boards uh, separately from the dividing boards. Um, you, you can leave it um, clear at the point now. You can add some material later on. And um, now we are going to add some dividing boards. First of all, we can uh, frame that um, and we will name it uh, maybe something like set to zero on the set axis. And now we are going to create our dividing boards. And to create that, we will add again a mesh line a mesh line we will again need an instance on point node and again we will need a cube for our dividing boards and we will plug in our mesh line to our points and the cube will be our instance uh, we plug this to instances and now uh, with our count of our mesh line we will control the count of our dividing bots so first of all we are going to create a new input and we will rename that um, number dividing boards Okay, now that um, we will need uh, another join geometry node so that we can see something. Plug that right here, and the other one goes right above. And as you can see, we got 10 dividing boards. We will control it with the counts of the um, mesh dividing vertices and now we first of all we are, want to uh, that our dividing boards will start at also at the zero point of our cabinet and to do that we will add half of the thickness of one of our boards therefore we are going to create a math node set this to divide divide by two and we will create a new where is it uh, create a new input and we will name that dividing board thickness now we will need a Combine X, Y, Z node. We will plug that into our Z node because we only want we, we only want to affect the Z position of our node uh, of, of our dividing boards, and we will plug that right into the start location of our mesh line. 
right now our uh, dividing board is not set on the uh, zero point of our axis because um, our cube is one meter high and we have a dividing board thickness of about 0.5 that's a standard value if we turn that to one um, everything is fixed right now um, we will connect all these values later on um, but for now it's important that we have um, the same values here and here and um, maybe we can frame that too and name that uh, dividing boards to that axis or something like that um, and now it's time to create our um, scale control of our um, dividing boards and we will do that with a combine x y z node we'll plug that right into the scale and our z value will be a new uh, input we will name that um, dividing board thickness maybe something 0 0.5 for start and the uh, y value will be the is equal to the depth of our uh, cabinet size and now we only need some x value 2 and the x value will be defined we need the x size um, that will be double of our X size because um, we only I will jump right here um, we only um, define the um, one one value and double it with the other and we also got the thickness of our boards that we have to subtract um, and to create the right X size uh, we will need a math node The math node will go into the cabinet X size. We will divide that by two. And now it's time to subtract the thickness of our boards. We will also create that with an multiply by two, sorry, um, because we only have one X size and we need the whole x size the double x size um, of that cabinet because that's why we have to multiply it with two now um, double that and now we have to subtract the thickness of these two boards and to do that we will plug that right here and we don't have to forget to set this to subtract and now uh, the, we have to subtract the thickness of our boards something like that and now that goes into the x scale channel of our dividing boards and hopefully yes it works we have some perfectly aligned dividing boards now we can control with our thickness we can control the uh, dividing boards we can control our boards thickness the cabinet height and we have control about the number of dividing boards and what we have to do now is to arrange our dividing boards uh, so in that way that they always fit to exactly the height of our cabinet
So something seems to be wrong with our um, dividing boards and I think I got the error. We have two times, uh, I have two times uh, named dividing boards thickness. Of course, we don't need that two times. Uh, you can delete the last one and just plug in the Z value of that combined XYZ Z node into the right dividing board's thickness and decrease the number so that you can see uh, the different boards. So now that should work. And we make a frame around these two and we will name it uh, dividing boards X size. So now it's time for the right space between our dividing boards. And to do that, we will take the cabinet height dividing with our with the number of our boards but we don't need the number of our boards because um, the space between um, our dividing boards is exactly one less than the dividing board itself so we have one two three four five six uh, dividing boards but we have only one two three four five spaces between our boards and now to create this, we will need a math node that we set to divide. And um, I think we, we rename it so that we can understand what we're doing here. Um, we will rename that to cabinet height dividing number of boards. but we will need the boards uh, minus one because we need the space between uh, our boards. And to do that, copy that math node, uh, rename it number of boards minus one. Uh, I think uh, it's a little bit annoying to um, rename all that uh, all, all these nodes, but I think it's necessary because um, in an hour you won't r uh, realize what these nodes are doing again. So um, it helps uh, to understand what's going on. So now we also we need another math node, um, which so that one we need to set to subtract, and we need to subtract one number and the upper one we will rename into cabinet height minus the boards god damn it thickness because we have to of course subtract the height of our boards otherwise we will get a wrong value because we only want that space here and we have to subtract the thickness of our boards. So now, um, and to plug that all into our offset of our mesh line, we will need a combine X, Y, Z node. Now uh, plug in the first value, the cabinet head. cabinet height and we want to subtract the board's thickness for our cabinet height plug in that into dividing board's thickness we need more space here so something like that so now uh, the number of boards minus one, plug the upper one into the number of boards input, number of dividing boards. Now connect this one with the cabinet height, dividing with, uh, with the number of boards minus one. 
that goes into the set value of our combined XYZ. And with that set value, now we have the exact height of our uh, drawers or the, in other words, the uh, space between our, our uh, dividing boards. And with that Z value, we will control the offset of our boards. And hopefully when I connect that right now, you see nothing. That's why, because I need to set the divide uh, node to subtract because we want to subtract the board's thickness from our cabinet height. And what we've got now, we already got a really cool modular cabinet, shelf, whatever, and everything is already modular and reacts to each other. So we will set a frame on that, control, control J, and we will rename that space between dividing boards. Now it's time for some uh, drawers and to create that we will again add a mesh line. We will need an instance on points node. Plug the mesh line right into the points. And we will need a cube again. And we will plug that into the instance entry. So now um, the count of our drawers uh, will be again one less than the number of dividing boards. To do that, we will create a math node, plug that into count and subtract one and plug that one into the number of our dividing boards. Create another join geometry node so that we can see what's going on. Join geometry. And we will plug that right in here. So these are our drawers and we have to, of course, uh, adapt some things so that it's working. Um, so now, first of all, we are going to control the height of our drawers. And that will be a similar process uh, like we did with our dividing boards. And to just to make clear what we are going to do now, um, I prepared something. So how do we um, um, get our drawers height that will be the total height of our cabinet uh, minus the height sum of all dividing boards. And that remaining um, height will be uh, divided by the number of drawers. And the number of drawers will be our dividing boards minus one. So that's basically what we are going to do. It's similar to the process uh, how, how to get to our uh, dividing board uh, space. Um, so to create that, we will need a math node again. And we will name that number of boards minus one. So now we will need number of boards multiplied with thickness. Set this to multiply. Then add a math and math node. We will call that height minus 
thickness of all boards. We will need another one that we can that we rename to boards number minus one. Let this to subtract, this to subtract two, and the last one, and we will rename that remaining height divide divided by boards minus one. So now, first of all, uh, we need the number of boards minus one. That will be uh, number of boards um, multiplied with the thickness. So number of boards goes right into number of dividing boards. Then we will have to connect this with our dividing boards thickness. Dividing boards thickness. Now that one goes into the thickness of all boards. That's what we calculated here. And we in, in that note, we subtract the thickness of all boards from the height. So that one goes, uh, ju just goes into our cabinet height. Cabinet height, where is it? There it is. Now we have the number of boards minus one because that's the number of our drawers and boards of boards number. We have to plug that into our number of boards. And now these two goes into the lower upper and the lower one. And that's our last note. That's the remaining height. So the height of our cabinet minus the thickness of all boards together, that's the remaining height, divided by boards number minus one. And set this to sub to divide. So there it is. Now we, ah, I need more space, sorry for that. So we can do something like that. So now we have uh, already control about the uh, Z value of our draws cube. We need to combine X, Y, Z. And we can already plug that into the size of our cube. And this one we can plug into, that's the height of our drawers. We will plug that into the Z value and to see something we already have to uh, we we still have to uh, define the uh, start point of our uh, draws but we can already see the height uh, is correct so now um, we can define the start location of our draws first of all control J and we will rename that draws height. Now it's time to define the start location of our drawers. And to do that, we will need a math node that we set to divide. Divide by two and another math node. We set to add. And what we're doing now is um, same as we did uh, with the um, first dividing boards. Um, we divide the thickness of our boards with um, um, divide by two and add this to our uh, to the start point of our 
uh, drawers. So now if we add the half of our drawer, it will be exact on the uh, same level as um, our first dividing board. So we have to add the half of our drawers height plus the thickness of our uh, first or well, general of our um, dividing board. So to do that, and we also need a combined x, y, z node. And to do that, we will need our drawers height that goes right into here, divided by two. And we will just rename it board thickness plus drawers height divided by two because we only want the half thickness, the half height of our drawers. Um, that one goes into the board's thickness, the dividing board's thickness. Uh, dividing board's thickness, there it is. And that one goes directly into the Z channel uh, of our combined X, Y, Z, and that will be our start location. And immediately it works. So the only thing that we have to do now is uh, to define the, the offset of, of our uh, drawers and uh, again the uh, x x uh, scale so that it fits so that it fits perfectly into our cabinet so how do we define the offset of our um drawers um maybe we group that first um and rename that into Start location draws. So now, how do we uh, get the the offset of our draws? And the offset will be the sum of the board's thickness and adding there the height of our draws. And we both already got that. So now it's time for you get it a ma another math note we will rename that to board thickness plus drawers height and we got the height of our drawers that goes right into here and we also got the thickness of our dividing boards where it is the dividing boards thickness and of course we can plug that in our another combined xyz node and in the z channel and that goes right into the offset uh, of our mesh line. And we can see we got some perfect aligned drawers in our cabinet. So now it's time to some for some 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 beauty correction. Uh, We will add now a bevel node uh, so that it looks looks a little bit more realistic. And to do that, we need to add a realized instance node right at the end of our uh, nodes. And now we can add here some bevel. It's way too much. Uh, maybe something like 0 0.5. No, it's still too much 0, 0 0.5 0, 0, 8 maybe and segments 3 so now we got some bevel going on that looks looks cool and what we also can do is 
add some subdivision surface. Subdivision surface. No, that was the wrong one, sorry. The subdivision surface. So that one I was looking for. Oh no, that's uh, already too early. Uh, forget about that. Uh, we will do that later on. Um, we have to subdivide our meshes a little bit more before we add some subdivision surface. Um, you can't forget about that. Now it's time to uh, set the uh, depth and the x size of our drawers and the depth will be the uh, y value. Connect the y channel with our cabinet depth. Now it's perfectly aligned and we already also can see that the drawers have the perfect height between each dividing board and um, now the x size of our uh, drawers will be the x size minus the board's thickness this one and because uh, we we have mirrored our object uh, the x size that we change here is only half of our size. So to get the full size, we have to double our X size and subtract the uh, thickness uh, of our boards. So to do that, we create another math node, set it to multiply, multiply with two because we want two times our x size, connect that one into our cabinet x size. Create another math node. And that one we will set to subtract. And that one goes into there and we Rename it again, the x size minus board thickness and that one will go into the board thickness, but not into the dividing board thickness, but into our uh, side board thickness. And that should now go into our X channel. And I think we've done a good job. We have a cabinet with some dividing boards and perfect drawers and everything reacts perfectly to each other. Now some dividing boards also works perfectly and dividing port thickness. Yes, everything's fine. Now um, we only have to add some uh, some handles. And to create a handle we will uh, again start with a cube. Just add a cube. We will need a transform node. and connect the mesh with the geometry. And so now, first of all, we are going to um, create the handle Z position. Um, no, first of all, we are going to uh, join the geometry uh, so that we can see something and we won't need um, that instance node, um, instance on points node right now because we will need the uh, instance on points node of our drawers. So um, we make sure that every handle is exactly uh, on the same position as our drawers. And to do that, we will create after our uh, drawers cube a joint geometry node. And we will now connect our transform node of our handle with the joint geometry node. 
we already can see uh, that something is happening. Uh, and as we set it to mesh, we can see uh, that our handles are exactly positioned to our drawers. Now back to our drawers. Um, first of all, we need the uh, exact Z position of our drawers. Um, to do that, we will create another combine X, Y, Z node and plug that into our translation to get the start point of it. Create another math node. And we will call that handles to drawers, but we want our drawers exactly to be in the middle of our um, the handles in the middle of our drawers. So we divide that by a certain number, uh, maybe to five. Um, I, I will explain that uh, in a few seconds. And now we connect the output of our drawer height with the value of our drawer's Z position. And we will connect that with our Z channel. And we have to set this to divide. And as we increase the number, uh, we can see that our that our uh, handles um, are moving to the right position. Now, um, I have to admit, you can't see uh, very good to it right now. Um, so I think we have to first uh, set the uh, the y. Um, the Y scale and the X scale so that you can see what's going on. So we leave it um, just like that uh, at the moment. So first of all, we now going to create the, the Y position of our handle um, and we will make a much thinner handle. So we will directly change our cube to 0 0.4 and the Height of our handle will be only 0.01, and the depth of our handle will be to uh, 0 0.1. Now we got them handled, and now you can see that the handles are positioned in the right direction. And as we increase our uh, dividing number, they will move to exact the middle of our drawers but we can fix that later on. So now um, we want to fix the, the Y position of our handles and we want them to be rotated. So go into the transform node and we rotate it around the x-axis around 90 degree. And now we want to move them, go to the top view. We want to move them from the middle of our cabinet to the front. So to do that, we need, you will guess it, another math node. In fact, we will need three other math nodes. And maybe we drag and drop that a little bit that way, that we have more room for other nodes. And now we can connect um, the the depth uh, into the depth channel of our cabinet. Cabinet depth. Go back to our node. And we can plug that. Let me think a moment that I'm doing nothing wrong. We have to do that into the translation. So that's correct. Uh, we can plug it into the Y channel. So 
now it's on the wrong side of our um, our cabinet and we also have to set it to divide divided with two that's because the the y uh, the y value of our um, cabinet is from here to here and we want to move it half the height because uh, the start point of our handle is here we, we want to move it half the depth of our cabinet so that's like this to the front so we have to divide it with two and to get it to the other side we will need another math node that we will set to multiply minus one and now we got some i will activate the render view and now we got some cool handles and to move them a little bit um, along uh, as we like to we can add another math node that we can set to add and with that node we can make clear how deep they are going into the drawers or not. With a minus value, they will come out. Three, something like that. That's too much. So I think we can leave it at zero um, right now, but you can fix it um, the way you like to. If you want to have bigger drawers or you can just go into that directly into the cube and make bigger drawers, uh, bigger handles. So something like that. So if you want to uh, have more details on your cube, uh, on your drawers, you just have to copy um, that whole bunch of nodes and place, uh, place for example, The second part of your handles uh, something that goes here um, just place it with your transform no transform node so that you have something angular with a 90 degree angle or something like that but um, in general that's our draw and what you can do now is um, add some colors so for example we add some color to our cube to our draw set material I've already prepared something uh, we can take the white one <laughs> it's, it's already white and we can add some material after our uh, drawers that would be I think the application drawers that would be at that position dividing boards yes we can plug it right here and here and if we set the material to that one, but that right one, zero to set axis. Ah, um, sorry, <laughs> we plugged in that material node right at the end and it's set to zero. So if we delete that, we should now see something. So our uh, sideboards are in a, some kind of dark material. Our dividing boards uh, in have a white material, and our drawers have some kind of black material. So you have to find the the right places where right after the geometry where you plug in your set material, and 
we have a cabinet that is fully modular.